I'll give you a hundred bucks if you catch him. What? What? Dang oh, it. Oh, my oh my gosh. Don't hurt him. Oh, we got oh, a new he's pet. so cute. That was solid. I cannot believe that word. How'd you well, catch him? Here. You should have said like $2. I could have said 10 bucks. <laughs> you could have said $1. Yes. Say hi. Say hi, buddy. Don't Benjamin. Him bite it. Benjamin the lizard. That was a good bet. Cute. Good catch. He's probably sick and dying. He's probably a dead lizard. I don't know. <laughs> Let him go on the table. Whoa! Oh, he's so big. He's so fast. Oh, oh. Yeah, he's not oh. sick. Definitely not sick. He's a healthy little lizard. <sighs> Hundred bucks cool, down honey. the drain. Don't spend it all in one place. This video is sponsored by Simply Safe. Simply Safe is a security system that experts trust. There's no long-term contract and you can start and stop at any time with no hidden fees. It's less than $1 per day, which is half the cost of traditional home security brands. They ship the system directly to your door and set up is simple and easy. Simply Safe has officially launched their brand new 24-7 Live Guard Protection, which will help stop home break-ins in real time. 24-7 Live Guard Protection is a feature of their Fast Protect monitoring plan. It's powered by their Smart Alarm Wireless Indoor Security Camera. Let me show you. The new sleek, lightweight camera integrates seamlessly into your Simply Safe system. The Smart Alarm indoor camera is the only indoor camera that can trigger the alarm to scare off intruders with a built-in siren. The 24-7 Live Guard protection is exclusive to Simply Safe and gives the professional monitoring agents the ability to see and speak live to intruders in your home or business. Save 20% on your Simply Safe security system when you sign up for the Fast Protect plan and get your first month free. Visit simplysafe.com slash off the range to customize yours. And remember, there's no safe like Simply Safe. Welcome to the Desperado Ranch, and that's a big F-350 dually, doing what duallys do best, hauling huge loads. This little baby, yeah, little baby trailer with a golf cart on it, huge load. Today is a big day, because last month we picked someone, one of you guys, who had ordered this shirt, and we said, hey, you wanna be the first one to stay at the Desperado Resort? And they are coming out here today actually this morning they should be here so we're trying to get everything set up so they can have the best time ever at the desperado resort the first actual real guest to spend the night here in 20 years obviously i want these guys to have like the best time ever and we've been trying to do everything we can do to make sure that like i don't know it's really fun when it's like yeah you're coming to a resort that's not actually a resort currently but like someday and I was like, well, we'll put them on the river because the river, timeless. You know, like who doesn't love a river? And that was gonna be the, you know, really the, the selling point for this is you get to come stay at this ugly knockdown resort. Also, that was in a, a previous video you saw us starting to knock it down. We knocked it all the way down. The back was awesome. You get to stay at this terrible, ugly, falling down, rotten resort but with beautiful scenery, a beautiful river. In theory, but something that we did not predict happened. And it's not good. Our beautiful, gorgeous, little piece of heaven river down here. Dried up. Not like completely I mean there's still water a lot of water but it stopped flowing it's dry in the middle this has never happened I I don't think the Guadalupe has ever dried up in my lifetime I'm actually it, it's kind of worrisome it's weird so Texas just got super hot it's been like over 100 degrees for like six weeks in a row and no rain not any rain. Well, some big fish just jumped over there. Which if y'all want to catch him, he's totally stuck in this little pocket right now. And that, the water's still flowing under because I went further down and the river's flowing down there and the river's flowing up here. I think it's just going through all these rocks, but it's just worrisome that like, it's not going over these rocks anymore. This exact spot that I am standing on right here was where we sat with the Explore Life guys in the river. And it was like eight inches deep here. We were sitting in lawn chairs and had our butts in the water as it was just flowing through here. This was all underwater. Ah, uh, that was, I don't know, less than two months ago. It's probably six weeks ago. And now it's dry. And we put the Airstream right up there so they would have this beautiful view of the river right here. And it's just like, there's some rocks where the river used to be. Texas, we need rain, please. Man, there's fish jumping. 
Well, hopefully they're fishermen who are coming out today because there are for sure a lot of fish and they're all now stuck in this little area here. And I bet you, you could catch some good fish out of that. So basically, uh, obviously I feel very bad about this. It was something that I never expected would or could happen that our first guest is gonna come stay on the river doesn't have a river. They've got this pond. So we're gonna try to make it up to them and make their trip awesome in other ways. So first up, I brought them a golf cart so they can scoot all over this ranch and do some exploring because the ranch is really cool. There's a lot of cool stuff out here and I want them to be able to go check it out and see everything. Mikey just pulled up with the generator and the fuel so we can go ahead and get the AC on, get that thing cooled down. And I think we have enough fuel that it will run for the entire time they're here with no issue. If you'll just unload this, Mikey, um, I'll get the gas cans, okay? <laughs> she a big old girl. is cooling great everything seems fine except it's showing red on our fresh water which means our fresh water tank is empty we we emptied out all the tanks and then we filled up the fresh water tank and it was good for a couple days there must be a real slow leak or something we have water but it's saying it's empty which means they're gonna run out pretty soon <sighs> we gotta haul this freaking airstream up to the resort fill up the fresh water tank again Dang it, we're like all good. We're ready to like be done, except for that little thing, like water. There's no water in the rivers, no water in the airstream. It's gonna be great. Filling her up, trying to figure out if it's leaking somewhere. It might have just leaked into like our gray water tank though. But so maybe we should empty the gray water while we're here too. Because there wasn't a puddle under it, but maybe it evaporated. Okay, so we just opened our tanks up. They're both empty. There's nothing in either tank, which is how we left it. So, where the heck did all the water go? We filled this thing up like five days ago and there's no water in it. We found a drip. It's dripping really slow right there, but that's totally, I mean, that's dripping enough to empty our tank in four days. That's gotta be it, right? Oh yeah. Yeah, I mean, it's drip, 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 drip. There's your problem right there. Dang it, it's starting to drip faster. Yeah. It's really dripping now. Oh my gosh. Pouring so much water. Yeah, we don't know if this thing is just a cover for our tank or if that's the actual tank. So we're gonna open it up and see what happens. Let's see if it just pours <laughs> 100 gallons of water out on us. Yeah. Is it a bladder? Is it like soft? I don't know, yeah, it's soft. I don't know what that is. It's like hard. Almost. That's what crazy. is this? I have no idea. I just know this sucks. <laughs> Why do we figure this out the day people are coming? Why is water coming from here? Possible fix. We just hooked the hose up here. So this is what you would do if you're just like hooked at a campsite. You just leave the hose in there. Then you have infinite water. Problem is you have to stay near a hose. But there's also not water in the river, so maybe it's less that you know. Maybe they don't, I don't know. We might just give them the option, like, hey, we can leave it right here. It's not by a river, but you have water. Or we can put it by the river, no water in there, and you can use this place to wash your hands, go to the bathroom, all that kind of stuff. Oh, huge bummer. I'm super sorry to the people I have not yet met that this is not what I expected. We're gonna try to make it up to you. Just met the guys, they're actually in the truck driving behind me. Um, they were totally cool with the Airstream just being there. They were cool. They, they, were, they were like, yeah, whatever, we're, we're fine. So they were like, yeah, leave it here. So we're leaving the Airstream up by the Purple Door House. We have the ACs running the Purple Door House and the Airstream, so I told them, I was like, Y'all can sleep in both. I don't care. I'm super sorry. So we got all set up. They have running water. They have air conditioning. Good to go. Um, but I was like, man, let's go to lunch. We'll treat you to some burgers and beer. And please accept my deepest condolences that you are not lounging in a river right now. Look at that freaking beautiful Texas 
sunrise telling us it's gonna be 119 degrees today or something. We hung out with the guys for a few hours yesterday. They're great, I'm gonna see them again today. But first I gotta get to the HQ early this morning because I gotta beat Mikey. I'll show you why. The reason is Earl, the king of the world, is dead. Well, not like dead dead. Engine, still run like a top. Transmission, not shifting like a top. Which is a big bummer. Uh, we also, I freaking just put new wheel bearing on front right on this truck, which was expensive because it also went out in grand fashion and tore up like the whole hub. So now I think it needs a new transmission. I haven't actually taken it anywhere, but I talked to Holden Bros and told them the symptoms. They were like, yeah, you probably just blew a transmission. And these Rams are kind of known for that being their weak link. Great motors, not a great transmission. These are our two work trucks. 2012 Ram 2500 with a 6.7 liter Cummins turbo diesel. This is a 1991 Dodge Ram W350. They're both 4x4. That one is a dually and that one's got the 5.9 liter 12 valve Cummins turbo diesel in it. And they're both great. This was actually my first diesel work truck and it has been totally awesome. We pulled tons of stuff with it and I've done a few minor mods to it and it's just been a workhorse. And it's actually a truck that Mikey drives around pretty much every day now because I got my 2021 F350 and so I pull stuff with that, Mikey pulls stuff with this and this is our backup. We also use this thing a lot but it's our backup or when we need a really big flatbed we use that and then some other employees and friends will borrow these when they need a truck. Like we always have you know, people who are needing these things. These things are running almost every single day. And so it's been hard when this thing has been out. I mean, we've been using this thing a ton, but we could use some more power than the old 12 valve has. And we've also, we've already been thinking about upgrading this thing to something with more power, something a little newer. This thing's 11 years old. And we pull a lot of dump trailers. We pull a lot of car trailers with trucks on them, heavy loads. And so we were thinking about maybe getting something a little beefier. And then the transmission went out. I was just sitting looking around at how many vehicles are in here and how many do not work. Five ton, works great, starts up every time. It's crazy how you can leave this thing for two months, it'll just fire right up. Low rider, still haven't fixed hydraulic line. It's like I have a resort and I just haven't cared. El Cremino, still runs and drives, but has a blown head gasket, so puts a little bit of water in the oil. It's great though. I will fix you, I promise, but there's no fuel pump on this thing, so it currently does not run. Blown transmission. Runs great. So only two out of six don't have bad problems right now. And I tell you all this because I think it is time to upgrade Earl. And get Mikey something that's gonna be more powerful, more reliable, can do anything he wants to do, and more comfortable too. He just, you know, he needs it. He deserves it. Mikey deserves a freaking nice truck. Not that these aren't nice. We're also going to keep these. I'm going to fix that transmission. I have enough friends and family and coworkers that they need these trucks and they're going to use them all the time. And I also just freaking love both these trucks. We've been through a lot together. And so we're keeping both these work trucks. That's probably going to be our backup. This is going to be for everyone else to use. And we'll surprise Mikey with his own truck today. And it's going to be sick. Oh. Hey, fellas. Uh... You guys need something? Anything you need? Those are some good looking antlers you boys have. Grown in mighty fine. Just got five bucks all hanging out. We got the boys here today. What do you think, bud? Good stuff, right? Nice looking antlers. Oh yeah, you get them. Tell them to get out of here. Those, that's your corn. Come and get it, boys. Gonna run and get a haircut real quick. And then we'll get back to it. Ugh. I haven't started this thing in a while because it's been so freaking hot in Texas. Let's see how she starts up. Forgot, carburetor. Give her some gas. Yes. Heck yeah. Be right back. Shoot! 
let's go. I used to cut my own hair um, all the time, and I would do it in videos, and then in one video I said I was going to a barbershop, and people were like, why do you go to a barbershop when you can cut your own hair? I usually go to a barbershop now. Um, I used to cut my hair just to save money back when I was trying to get out of debt with vet school loans and everything, so I would cut my own hair. And I got pretty good at it, but I like it when other people cut my hair because they do a much better job. They can see you know, the sides in the back of my head a lot better than I can. And so I do like going in and getting my hair cut whenever I can. But actually the last time I cut my hair, like a month ago, I cut it myself just because it's more convenient sometimes. Like when you don't have time, just cut your own hair. It takes like 10 minutes. It's a good running car. It looks like we've put 120 miles on her so far. Running really good. I'm gonna take it back in probably another month or two. I've just been testing it, making sure that everything works, trying to figure out what needs work. Still, you know, some things like air conditioning and radio, which would be nice, but otherwise, this thing is a freaking solid car. I love it. Uh, we actually need to do a little time warp. So I'll see you guys after I warp through some time. I bought it. It's awesome. But first, we really need to deck it out with some door stickers. So let's get that going first, and then I'll show you the truck. Cow, is that a 2019 F-250? Single rear wheel with a flatbed. This is actually crazy because it's a single cab, as you can see. So it actually makes it kind of a short wheelbase for what we're used to because we're used to my F-350 dually with the long bed and four doors. We got the official stickers on this thing. So this is obviously an official Desperado Resort pickup truck now. So now we're gonna go surprise Mikey with it. This thing is obviously used, lightly used, I think. Um, it needs a new tire. There's one tire that's, it needs some more tread. Uh, cold AC, which is amazing, and it blows hard, like much better than Earl's. Um, and it does have the glass right here, so you can see really easily when you're backing up to a gooseneck trailer, you can see exactly where you're going, which is awesome, because Earl and the F-350, you can't see. They both have back seats and toolbox and you just can't see anything. So this is freaking awesome. And then also has a backup camera and the backup camera shows the hitch in the back. So you can back up to a bumper pull trailer, super easy too. This thing is a huge upgrade over Earl. I'm sorry Earl, I love you Earl. I hate to like kick you while you're down, but this one's better. Also it needs a name. Pulling in the property, Mikey is currently in the HQ. Uh, Jenna is going to go blindfold him and say we have a surprise for him. He's going to hear this thing pull up, of course, but uh, he'll be surprised. He actually showed me this truck. He's seen this truck before. He saw it sitting in a lot um, a few days ago and texted it to me, and I was like, yeah, that's pretty cool. It's a little too nice, though. And he was like, cool, cool, cool. Then I went and got it. <laughs> There's Mikey. He's blindfolded. Okay, it's a Ford, whatever it is. You don't know if it's a Ford? It's a Ford. You don't whatever know. It it's a Ford, whatever. All right, you can take your blindfolds off. Dude, that is freaking sick! <laughs> <laughs> what? How cool is it? Freaking cool. That's freaking cool. <laughs> and you even got the logo on it? Dude, yeah, we got her fixed up. Get in there, get in there, see how it feels. Yeah, this is the one you saw. Oh, for real? <laughs> yeah, this is that one. Yeah, you got two extra seats so you can have two friends, yeah. which you do. That's how it is Oh, the dinging. <laughs> right, it's actually, it's a little bubbly, but Clint said we just need to get a heat gun on this side oh, yeah. and those bubbles will come out. The other side did better. Dude, this thing looks good. Heck yeah. So it's got, a, it's got a helper spring added to the back, so it's already got a beefier rear spring for pulling trailers, so We'll see if it's uh, if it's good enough, then we'll probably just leave it. We may have add airbags in the future. I don't really know. We need to tow a trailer to find out. Actually, uh, Mikey, I need you to 
there's a dump trailer that's totally full. So right, it, cool. if you don't mind. Test run. <laughs> also, they they sold me a truck that's been expired for four months. <laughs> like what? Come on, man. Why why would y'all not get the inspection done? Dude, I love it. I'm very pumped about this thing. We're actually gonna go uh, meet the guys who've been staying at the Desperado Resort, have lunch with them, see how their their stay last night was. <laughs> Off to do work. All right, let us know in the comments below what we should name that truck. We just went to eat lunch and then we came out and God, it looks good, man. All right, we're heading to resort now so we can load her up, see how she hauls. Beautiful. <laughs> She's a beaut, look at that thing. That's awesome. First tow. I'm gonna report back and let you know how it goes, but it has little helper leaf spring in the back, so it kind of has a little extra oomph back there. Should hold heavy load well, and it's got plenty of power to pull it. Now, introducing Dylan and Curtis. You guys are from where? Uh, Windsor, California, Santa Rosa, California. Yeah, About from an hour and a half north of San Francisco. Yeah, and you're our first guest at the Desperado. Uh, How was it? You slept in the Airstream last night? Oh, that was great. Yeah? Oh, yeah? Not too bad? We were out last night, we saw a pig. Did you really? Oh, yeah. I haven't even seen a pig out here yet. And we saw the herd of deer. Yeah, that there's tons of those. Happened. Where was the pig? Uh, it's near that uh, kind of like launch ramp type thing right at the beginning. Was that the beginning underneath right? the, one of the long cables. Gotcha. So like underneath the zip line by the ropes course and everything? Yeah, we're Crazy. just slowly starting to walk up there and we heard rustling. We're like, uh-oh. And then it shot off across the hill. Jeez, big one? It was a pretty good size. Yeah? Cool. They've, they've told me there's a bunch of pigs out here. They said there's coyotes out here. We've seen lots of deer and you guys saw some deer, right? Oh, yeah. Did y'all see the sheep? Oh, oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> those oh, things yeah. are I everywhere. <laughs> yeah, there's like a hundred sheep out here. Have y'all seen any turkeys yet? I saw no, some turkeys no. too. He actually left the doors open on the truck last night to like let the heat out. And yeah. I, and my first thought is, oh god, make sure the, go the, the sheep the gonna sheep don't go, go right, right in there. <laughs> well, we're glad y'all are here. Y'all want to come back and check out the HQ? Yes. Absolutely. Sweet. We're just gonna take it for a little tour. I feel bad that you guys can't swim in the river like we thought you would be able to, but yeah, we'll, we'll find something fun to do. There's plenty of other stuff. To do. Yeah. There's, oh, there's yeah. a lot to explore out here for okay. sure. All right, we couldn't have them come out here and then not give them a river without letting them try out a 50. The Gold Barrett. This is not normal. I was just like, man, I gotta make it up to these guys since they have no river to play in. And they were like, yeah, you don't have any water anywhere. Sorry, guys. So I'm trying to make it oh, up we'll to call the- it even now. We're, we're, we're even? We're Sweet, thank goodness. That's a hit. Those guys were great. If you wanna be considered for our next river vacation trip. All you gotta do is get you a Desperado Resort hat or shirt. I think we have three different shirts. Link in the description below through the end of July. We're just gonna randomly pick one of you guys and uh, yeah, get you out here. It'll be awesome. And let me know what you think about the new truck. We really do need a name, so please comment below. God, it looks so good. Like I was sold already, like I like the way it looks, but when we got that logo on it, I was like, God. It looks freaking official. And we got the ram's head just like, I don't know, you go out to this place, you'll see there are just sheep everywhere. And we got a lot of big old curly horned rams. Mikey pulled this thing all the way with the big heavy dump trailer full of stuff. He said it pulled great. So we might consider putting airbags on the back of it just for heavier loads. Let me know what you think about that. But it does have the helper spring and it seems to work. Like it's freaking workhorse truck. So I'm really excited about this thing. Listen, I still love you. You just, you need a little help, that's it. We're gonna get you the help you need. Until then, we have a new favorite. I'm just kidding, Earl. You're, <laughs> Earl, you're great, you're awesome. Mikey's brand new work truck, freaking beautiful. Thank you guys for watching this episode of Off the Ranch. I love you! And me and this truck, we'll see you next time. <laughs>